Hello everybody, welcome to JFW Extreme Rules. I'm Jimmy Ventura, in the booth with me is Fymir and Rick Schiavone. Hello! Hello, fans of La Lucha Libre, get ready for Extreme Nine, Extreme Night of Extreme Action with Extreme Wrestlers. Oh baby. Hello Jim, hello Fymir, hello JFW Universe. Oh my goodness, the best JFW superstars in action tonight for the top titles and finally Rick getting his shot back at Night Demon after months of waiting. Woo! <laughs> Woo! But he's Vol Volkvigor. Who the hell can beat Volkvigor? That's what I want to know. Oh, well, in the meantime, while we discover who's going to be Volkvigor opponent, I'm going to do a couple of things. I'll be back in a few minutes. I'm going to grab something. Okay, see you five here. You can sit where you are and grab something. Um, well, you say who could beat Volfago? He did lose on Monday, Jim, but yes, when it's for the title, oh my goodness, he's an absolute machine, or a beast is probably more appropriate. And here's, wait, wait a minute, what's this music? Oh my god, it's fine here! <laughs> wow! Well, he's got to have the greatest uh, pre-show record in the history of the JFW, so... Uh, <laughs> Finally, here we get to see him <laughs> in the main event, baby. Oh man, that's what he's gonna grab hold of. He's gonna grab the fag all by the horns. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> well, if uh, if anyone knows how to beat, uh, I don't know, a beast charging at them with the horns, uh, I'm sure it's for me. <laughs> Very good point. <laughs> of course, uh, he is the he is the Spaniard who lives in in Scotland, so he's got a he's got his <laughs> <laughs> not at yeah. all crossed with William first, Wallace at First there was Ramirez in Highlander. Now there's from here. <laughs> yeah. Oh baby, <laughs> pretty glorious. Yeah, what, what an incredible uh, challenge for for Volk. What a champion he's been. But uh, yeah, is is this a step too far? Yeah, we all know what a what a powerhouse Fimea is. Incredible, incredible bodybuilding feats. And that, it looks like he's been training wrestling as well. This is going to be uh, very exciting. He's jumping in the deep end. The man who has transformed into an absolute wrestling machine in recent months with the uh, with the touch of chaos that has become him. Yeah. It is, it is Volkvigor heading down to the ring now. <laughs> <laughs> what a happy chap. <laughs> Woo. What does he look like? Look at the rippling muscles. Look at the horns. <laughs> he loves what he's become. And it's proving very, very effective between the ropes as well. Yeah. Yeah, he's put those those horns to good use. He certainly has. Glorious. Successfully defended that title week in, week out for months. Yeah, he has. He's been amazed. It's been an amazing run, but is it going to come to an end now? Versus Fimea. Hard to say, isn't it? Uh, we, we don't know much about Fimea yet in the JFW at the top level. I guess we're about to uh, find out a whole lot. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely an unknown quantity, isn't he? I mean, we know that you or I would have no chance just being commentators, but... Um... <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> but we, we don't squat 200 kilos, so... Uh, exactly, yeah. This is... Uh, he's certainly in shape. From Spain, he is. Weighing in at 220 pounds, Fry Myers. Oh, he, he looks serious, Jim. <laughs> Absolute <laughs> determination written across his face. Whereas Volk's out here having a party. <laughs> yep. He is the underground champion, Big Daddy V. He's just here to have fun, isn't he, with that? 
but he's, he's got such a good run. But yeah, it's extreme rules, of course. It is extreme rules pay-per-view. Every match has got extreme rules. So, you know, maybe finally he's looking to use a chair or something as an equaliser to make up for his lack of in-ring experience. Yeah, it'll be the first time uh, that Vox defended the title under these stipulations. So it could completely change the game as well. Let's see... Which man or beast adapts best to that? What a start from Famia. Beautiful execution. Clearly very capable in the ring. Oh, but boy. now we also see the best of Volk. <laughs> wow. Wow. German execution at its finest. Complete precision. <laughs> oh, Hurricane Rana, though. <laughs> Great mm -hmm. mix of styles. And Volk? Early roll to the floor outside. Feeling he needed a moment. Gets caught on the way back in. Nice counter though. Definitely slight. Well, I'd say slight power advantage. Slight size advantage. The Volk for Gore in this one. But uh, we do know that from here, a very powerful man. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but he is not. He is not blessed by the chaos gods themselves, is he? No, no, you know, we don't have the claws, the horns, the fur, the, the rippling in human muscles. No, he's uh, he is a mere mortal, he is a man. Oh! Wow! Surprisingly high-flying maneuvers from Volk there, but uh, no mistakes made. I guess hooves useful for, for climbing. <laughs> yeah, kind of. You can stand on mountainsides there. Uh. This is, uh, gosh, poor, poor Vermeer. This has been vast majority Volk so far. Getting in an awful lot of offense. Yeah. Master teacher the student and uh, dismisses him to the concrete outside. 20 feet of contra contract? 20 feet of concrete, I'm sure. I'm <laughs> sure finally. Well, yeah, doing. I don't know if he's got a wrestling contract yet in the <laughs> JFW, whether this just comes under his uh, commentary duties. So yeah. might might literally be wrestling for a contract. Yeah, brilliant to see that. Totally intended. <laughs> Thanks, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, doing some good work outside, and we know that this really does uh, chip away at a guy's stamina. Like you say, eating the twenty feet of concrete, no small feet, and uh, Volker a little bit more beaten up now. Yep, no small feet in this match, of course. There's no Satterfield tonight. <laughs> 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 oh! Is it a power bomb? Oh. No, what's that? Oh, nice manoeuvre! Oh, and you can tell Volkvogel felt that one. He uses uh, his ungodly chaos powers of recovery to bounce back at the first pin. Oof. Lost a one count. Not bothered to find me by that. No, he's definitely got some, uh, some fight in him to Zafamir. Oh, is Volk going up again? No, he's having a rest in the corner, but oh, he might boy. be getting ready to use the horns. Yes. The horns, Jim. No, oh, Famir. Oh, he counted it. He counted the horns attack. We've never seen it counted before. Hurricane Rana. Oh, Volk escapes. Mason stuff from Famir. Oh, but does he? Does he escape? Oh, oh, oh right in the horns. Missile drop kick from the top rope to the outside. And now the Extreme Rules coming into effect. The oh. chair, Jim, oh, and throws it down with disgust. <laughs> throws it on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Is he going to slam Volk into them? Oh, he tried. But Volk with the counter. <laughs> Suplex onto the chair, Jim. Onto the chair. Hey. He got him. And then he gets picked it up. He's hit him. Oh. Yeah. oh. That could be it. That really could be it. <laughs> It's one of the rarest things you'll ever see in an Extreme Rules match, actually using <laughs> an object. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness, though. What a comeback from Volk. How he even recovered, I don't know. But just throwing Volk over his shoulder onto his head onto the concrete. Uh, Famir, sorry, that, that really could be the end of Famir. That is horrific. Yeah, devastating manoeuvres. We're not seeing anything back from Vermeer now. He is completely unconscious. No! Does find a counter. Oh! Oh! Oh, the beastly balls. The chaos balls. Oh, glorious. 
Love to see a ball shop fitting right into the JFW family. <laughs> yeah, he, he knows where he's come to. That could be in the ball shop for the win. Oh. Not quite. Of course, no, uh, no disqualifications. He can do as many ball shots as he likes at Extreme Rules. Absolutely, yeah. Oh, oh Fisherman's... I don't even know what that ended up as, but it's beautiful. He's doing some wonderful uh, variants on the mm. uh, on the regular moves that we're used to, and he's going for another weapon, Jim. Oh boy, what's this? No wonder he picked Extreme Rules to to join the JFW Superstars. Yeah, he's got some ladders. Oh, oh, too slow though. <laughs> Pays the price. Eating some turnbuckle. His bulk core seems to have now recovered finally. No, oh, bust him open. Oh dear. Goodness me. Oh, and a, a modified camel clutch. He slips right out. Maybe the blood helping him to escape. <laughs> nice bit of lubrication. <laughs> Oh, roll up, but no, he doesn't hold on to it. Oh, oh my goodness. This oh. is unbelievable. What a wow. move. I've never seen the moves that Fabir is pulling out in this match. I don't mm. even know what to call them, Jim, but I'm, they are beautiful. Yeah, they are. They're incredible, aren't they? How and he's mixing it up you? with some really dirty extreme rules play as well. He's, he's just got a bit of everything. He has now made this a table, ladders, and chairs match, Jim. <laughs> he has, yeah, incredible. Glorious. No, I won't give in, oh until God. I'm victorious, oh, and I will defend, I will defend. Oh, glorious, Randy. thank you very much, Randy Tanner, for staying fantastic for six glorious ones, one and a half beaver pregnancies. Oh, and thank you very much for the red store, baby. Glorious. Volk just staring at Vermeer there. <laughs> But he was waiting, playing possum weirdly, letting him recover, only to then take him out again. Wonderful mm. power bomb. And he's going for the horns again. This got oh, counted oh. earlier, Jim. Vermeer knew what to do about this. Oh. oh, they got him this time. Horns to the already busted open head of Vermeer, and that is all she wrote, but what a great effort. Oh, oh my goodness, kick out. Oh, Fami, Fami did it. Folk can't believe it. Holding his head in his hands. Wow. Counted the first one, reversed the second one, but as, as he just uh, set himself up for more punishment, I fear so. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. There you go. <laughs> That's, That's definitely it this time. Yeah, for sure. Good night, sweet prince. Yeah. Is he, is he going to be okay to join us? Jim after that? <laughs> well, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> You'd hope so. I, I don't know if I would be. A great effort. Very valiant. Oh, he is on his feet. He's back on his feet. I think he'll be all right. Well, Volk wow. is impressed. I... Look at that. Offers him his hand. Yeah. That, that <laughs> takes... A... Oh, oh, the attitude of uh, Vermeer. We're, of course, used to the sharp end of Vermeer in the commentary booth here, Jim. But Volk tasting it for the first time there. <laughs> Incredible. Well, there you go. What a, what a win for Volk. Um, oh, that was a little rough, guys. And yes, the, the yeah. fucker called me. You know, I had to put and shake his hand because the fucker called me Jack. So, yeah, it's like, uh, <laughs> I can take the defeat, but not Volk calling me Jack. <laughs> Come on, <Rick. laughs> right, well, uh, now got... to me. Yeah, sorry. We've got Crispy Ice uh, coming. We haven't seen him for a while. Um... Crispy Ice, Papa Piccolo, and of course the Bread Mask defending his uh, Pimp Pump Loserweight title. Sorry, I just thought I had to get in there. Was, that was rapid, wasn't it, the thing? Maybe we should have made more space between it. I do apologize. That's it's all right, it's all right. They got out in the first round. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, Jimmy Fantastic in a storybook brawl tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, that's what happened to me. <laughs> yeah, that's shit. That's shit. But to be fair, uh, you know what's he called? So salty didn't do very well, and you know, oh, a bunch of other crazy people difficult didn't format, do. mate. Honestly, yeah, crazy difficult format. Yeah, so there's a lot of luck in, in it, and 
and like I'm not the best anyway. <laughs> so like, I felt like I wasn't really lucky in any game, even though I finished third in one way. So, you, you did great to get there. Um, Le Bread Mask, been absolutely fantastic since the last pay-per-view, hasn't he? Dethroned Muppet Pac-Man, dominated on uh, Friday Night Stand Firm. And uh, yeah, here we are with the biggest test to date, though. Wait, this isn't Crispy Ice's music. What the hell? Oh, what's this? It's Hanko! <laughs> oh! <laughs> the fucking... The Scouse has stolen Crispy Ice's spot in the match! <laughs> oh my, my god! They've, they've stolen this. all of the streamer titles, and now they're going for the main roster JFW titles as well. They just want anything that's gold. So here we go. <laughs> It's Hancock outrageous, after the isn't it? Plus weight championship. Unbelievable. <laughs> Fucking scousers. Unbelievable. <laughs> Fucking scousers. All over the place. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know if Hancock gets the title, if you want to buy the title from him, it's going to be around £20 and the car parking of the stadium. <laughs> £20 on the Scotch egg. <laughs> and the Scotch egg. Oh, that's the Scotch egg. Oh man, that's outrageous. I don't think we've ever had someone just outright steal a steal a title shot before. I've I've got a rare sticker of Graham Sunus, 1987, and uh, Hancock's already said that he, he's taking that deal if he wins the title tonight. <laughs> well, he is the champ. Matt, ready for action. He's been absolutely phenomenal the last few weeks. I'm looking forward to seeing if he could even be challenged tonight. It's not even felt like anybody's pushed him close. Yeah, he has been incredible the last month. Uh, but he did lose. He did lose a triple threat to Papa Piccolo, and he did lose a triple threat to Crispy Ice. But apparently, Crispy Ice has just lost, <laughs> lost in the backstage race to come out to his music. <laughs> probably, probably. Uh... Fireonomics and my Steve Moti, you know, told uh, Chris Pace they will drive him to the stadium, you know. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, God knows where what those two are up to. So yeah, maybe they've uh, maybe they've waylaid him backstage. The classic uh, Liverpool kidnapping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Might have just taken him out for a pint. Might have done. Yeah, yeah, that's a good pint. I make him pay. <laughs> <laughs> Go to that scene. <laughs> Oh wow, where you go? Fast Hancock's start from Hancock. Going. He is determined. Yeah. Breadmas not happy to wait out in the corner though while uh, his two challengers go at it. Oh! It's a huge forearm. Piccolo finally getting himself into the match. Yeah. Hancock is rapid. Yeah. Well, you've been running away from the police all your life. <laughs> 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 oh. I'm alright, JBG just got his spot stolen. Outrageous, outrageous behavior from the scouts. <laughs> oh! Papa Piccolo. Nice snap suplex from Papa Piccolo on the champion. Oh! Kneeling DDT. <laughs> oh, Hancock though, wildly missing. Good point, Frosty. Uh, Hancock certainly acting like he's on drugs right now. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He really More is. drugs than usual. <laughs> he's been accused of toxicity before. Has anyone got the toxicology report of, of Hancock's uh, urine? <laughs> the results were all of the above. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the results were urine, question mark. <laughs> they did find some urine in his, in his toxicology report. <laughs> <laughs> Despite rumours to the contrary. Tr trace. Wow. <laughs> trace amounts. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
This really is a three-way dance. I, I can't pick anyone. Getting out to, for getting on top Ooh. here. That is a pin on the champ, but it isn't going to stick. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. That was amazing. Every time somebody seems to be in control, there's a counter and somebody else is kicking somebody's head off. <laughs> amazing action so far from all three. Yep. Hancock doing his uh, 80s gym instructor. Oh, there you go, Hancock in a very good position right now. Alpha from Piquillo. Sorry, just to say this is elimination, by the way. This is Extreme Rules elimination. So, um, yeah, no one will be trying to break up any pins. Any one pin, they're out. All right, I think we can say Hancock finally is the first one to take control of this match. Going from man to man. Beating on them, doing a great job at the moment. <laughs> yep. Wow. Oh, he's going for the penalty kick. Oh, oh. oh! I thought he missed, but he obviously... Oh, God, he's knocked his head off. Look at that! <laughs> oh, oh God. my goodness, me. I think he's broken a rib. That's completely got broken. <laughs> I still oh. manage to counter the pin. Oh, straight after the ribs again. He knows that he's done damage there. I think Papa Piccolo's on borrowed time here. He's been all Hancock the last few minutes. Yeah, has, yeah. And of course, these guys have been preparing for crispy ice, haven't they? And instead, they've got somebody who, you know, a bit of an unknown quantity for them. Hasn't been taking part in any plim pom weight matches, Hancock. No. Not been in the JFW long at all. Can't even watch uh, too many videos on him. Oh, what a nice modified Bulldog, though, from the bread mask. And now he's going to the top. What a turnaround this is. It's going to be Papa Piquillo. It's going to switch. Tiki Tash. Tiki Bean. Well, he does break it up for the bread mask. He shouldn't have. All the. Oh, it was the plim plum plex, but it's been counted in all roll. He steals the pin. He steals the pin. He's got him. Oh, <laughs> Chuck is gone. Oh, oh my God, Hancock. Hancock could get it. Oh, my God. And we've God. just seen Bob for goal with that move, but Papa Piccolo pinging up from it. Unbelievable endurance shown. Oh, man. Suddenly, Hancock's in trouble. Unbelievable. The, uh, the month of dominance from the bread mask is over. Yeah, literally stolen from him by Hancock. Clinging in now, though, at the moment. Papa Piccolo in control. I see that we have a guaranteed a new champion here. Oh, what a move from Hancock, though. Got out of the way of this, uh, the, uh, the drop kick. <laughs> he threw him by his smack head. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 man, that looked like three. <laughs> or wow. Liverpool holding their breath. <laughs> Rumor has it that uh, he wants to steal the gold title and Papa Piccolo's outfit. <laughs> oh, submission is in. Hancock could be in all sorts of trouble here. No, fighting out. Oh, clear. Oh. Well, doesn't give wow, a shit. I got with a counter. Oh, oh Papa now Papa Piccolo Piquillo, open. as usual, getting busted open. Oh, this could Kicks be the mask through his face. Oh. oh, we don't have a new champion. Oh, yeah. He's still dancing, though, not perturbed <laughs> at all by the near miss. Slap it on the armbar. He's going to let it go, though. Softening it up. Deary me. We thought he'd broken a rib earlier. That might have broken an arm. Oh, and now. Is it it? Wow. <laughs> what a flying maneuver. The airtime from Hancock then. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's off his nut. <laughs> <laughs> He 
Sure knows how to get high, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, very good. That could be all she wrote. Another great pin. Oh. How is Pat oh. Piccolo fighting on? Hancock very confident. Oh, he knows it. Penalty kick. Oh. And now I think it's over. It's got to be. be. GG. And yeah. there you go. Hancock with a total of zero matches in the pink and blue division before <laughs> get the title. <laughs> Wow. What a massive efficiency. Wow, that's outrageous. The Fred Mass totally robbed. All of the Plim Plum Plus it's robbed, really. Crispy Ice robbed. Outrageous. Wherever, wherever you are, Crispy Ice, sorry to be you. <laughs> Hank 100% zero, zero K, as he'll now be known. 100% <laughs> record in the Plim Plum Plus weight division and already the champion. Unbelievable. That is outrageous. <laughs> Hashtag not my champ. <laughs> there you go. Outrageous. Not, not quite sure how this championship will work after he sells the title. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, you know. Whoever wants a, you know, a few quid and a score check can get the belt. <laughs> you know. Yeah, Jim McMahon might have to arrest him or something before he leaves the building with it. <laughs> if the other he option wants is to see the title again. The other option is they're gonna melt it to make it lighter. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me at all. Oh dear. Oh boy, howdy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, here we go. The two heads championship extreme rules. This is so this won't be a tag match, it's extreme rules, so it'll be tornado. Um and yeah, it's, here, here we go. It's the the glorious ones versus dress for business. Okay, finally dress for business getting their shot for the title. <laughs> Yeah, they really bounce back from uh, failing to take it from cockerball torture in humiliating circumstances. They've come strong. They've won every match since then. Very deserving of this title shot. Arguably unlike the glorious ones who were handed it on a silver platter by Jim McMahon. But they have done well with the titles since. So, yeah, we've got a excellent two tag teams going head to head here. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, there was actually concern that the uh, the glorious ones wouldn't make tonight because they've been rock and rolling all night and partying every day. So uh, you know there was talk <laughs> they weren't even going to make it for tonight, but here they are. It, it'll be okay. Well, for us, to be honest, more or less, nearly every single tag team has like eight hundred shots of the tag titles already. <laughs> I'm just glad Steve Motti and Fugonomics didn't come out. <laughs> <laughs> they were indeed Steve Motti. Wait. Wait a second. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> what is this? Change of equipment for the glorious ones for this special match <laughs> oh, oh my, my god <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> all right this is it Glory. the keys home age that will probably get the lawyers of keys already in <laughs> jimmy's house in around half an hour i can hear gene simmons keyboard typing already <laughs> with, not legally associated with the jfw <laughs> i cannot be financially chased <laughs> I don't get paid for this. I, I do this pro bono. I do this pro bono. I didn't never get any money. <laughs> <laughs> they look fantastic. I've got to give them that. They look absolutely fantastic. That's absolutely epic. Absolutely epic. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised Mrs. Wenger is not there as a third member of Keys here, but probably I'm embarrassed at home. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, I've got a fold-out bed when you lose your house, mate. You're very welcome here. 
<laughs> Just give him a few Amazon cardboard boxes so he can build a new home. <laughs> oh man! Do you know what I made? I made a kiss version of Mrs. Wang and then realized it was Extreme Rules, so she can't come out anyway. So. Oh wow! Oh. Yeah, it was very sad. Clearly, business, business, <laughs> good. Have no clue how to react to the situation. <laughs> they are looking at each other. What the fuck is going on? They really are. That's amazing. <laughs> Look at them. expression was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> lemon thinking this is ridiculous, and I'm a lemon. <laughs> exactly. When, when the lemon thinks you're a fucking weirdo, you know. <laughs> Not associated with a band kiss in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> Just to make that clear. <laughs> it's, it's an homage. It's an homage. <laughs> Do with all due respect. <laughs> You're right there, Bessel. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, you know, Simmons, though, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> brutal, uh, brutal pile driver there from Wanger. <laughs> Wanger, yes, wow. enjoying the moment. Feeling the glam rocker inside of himself, <laughs> getting to live his dream tonight. Oh, A little bit too glam. If the business are good, are recovering from the surprise. Oh, Mrs. Wanger is here. Oh, Wanger. Hello, Mrs. Wanger. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really, Tony. Yeah, it's a bit extreme, isn't it? The, uh, the, the body armor, but there you go. It's, it's extreme rules. There's no rules against it. Exactly. Anything goes. Oh, Jimmy Simmons now looking under the ring, who gets caught. <laughs> uh, these people don't know how to use the tools at their disposal. Oh, you say that with Lemon oh. with the ladders? No, you're absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> was it on the that was my failure. I knew the rules, but I didn't knew the game. <laughs> Business, uh, dress for business or uh, on top, aren't they here? Both, uh... yeah, they've taken control. Probably they've been training instead of trying makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Rock and roll man's, yeah, exactly. Yeah, not kiss, <laughs> not kiss, definitely not kiss. Don't sue us, Gene. <laughs> <laughs> Rock and roll man, I can imagine one of these big tiny toys. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and it is it is Jim and Wanger and Gary, the glorious ones, the tag team champs. <laughs> so, table leg Stanley knife and uh, Jimmy Simmons. <laughs> Very good. Opening in too much control here. It seems like one one half of one tag team is uh, is on top, whilst the other isn't, and then it swaps round. Mm. I don't see a uh, fan folks interested in changing sides with Lemon. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh, but this is going to happen anyway. Yeah, breakthrough for the glorious ones. Lemon out of it on the outside, and now Ooh. it's two on one. Oh, and again, oh! <laughs> oh, Jimmy for the sneaky! <laughs> Steals in for the pin. Classic <laughs> Glorious Ones tag team action. Table leg does the work. Jimmy steals the pin. <laughs> oh, lemon drop! Oh. But the Wanger oh, is yeah. there. Yeah, to avoid the pin. 
Y me crawling around, <laughs> just like another day at the GFW. <laughs> Two versus wow. one. This is not looking good for Lemon. No, it isn't. Too much for any fruit. Uh, here comes Fat Fox. He's back and he misses. I and misses again. again. Oh, brilliant! Lemon was calling for the for the trouble in paradise. Then missed it. Oh, oh. Fox bottom. They were like better turn around. He does. Four. It's the classic fox bottom versus the gym bottom. <laughs> it is, yeah, yeah. Who's going to win the battle of... Of the bottoms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what I say, tonight the gym is his proper rock bottom. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, very good. Whoa. Whoa. Jimmy's right there, though. Good lad. Oh, shit. oh, oh. bust it open. That's Red all right. That, that, that's the lifestyle of a rock star. <laughs> Top rope. Oh. Boom. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. But again, table leg is there. Surely to save the day. No, Fat Fox is coming in. <laughs> oh, Glorious One's in so much trouble. Oh no. Oh no, the shot. Sharpshooter, lemon drop. This could be over either way. What performance by Lemon here? Oh god. Nice the save instantly. after fighting out of the sharpshooter. Jim's done well there to be fair. Mm. Uh oh, what's this? Oh. <laughs> oh, there is a hammer. There is a hammer outside. Oh, shit. Glorious team, man. <laughs> Jimmy. Oh. himself. Lemon with a hammer. Nothing. I'm getting hammered. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy getting nothing brilliant. Uh oh, Fox bottom time. The second fox bottom. Oh, man. Yeah, but on the other side, when it is absolutely destroying Lemon. On the outside, though, so yeah, got to get him in the ring to get the cover. Oh, yeah, I, I was going to say Fat Fox doing just that, but no, decides to make uh, Jimmy eat the steel steps instead. Not a terrible strategy. Yeah. Oh, man, he's tangled him. <laughs> Rest of business thoroughly back on top again. Oh god, he's got the hammer. Oh, the hammer. Oh, the hammer. Oh. He got him. Oh god. Bad timing from Jimmy. Find the oh, chair. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> good, good. He went fox hunting and he won. Oh boy. Double chair shot. <laughs> Dominating in the middle, though. Jimmy's got to be aware of this. Can't get oh. too focused. He's going for the gym bottom, but if he's not careful, he'll lose the match in the meantime. Oh, there you go, the gym bottom. Gym bottom. <laughs> oh, done. He's done. My fuck is done. One girl recovering. And now everybody's back in the ring. <laughs> very, very good for the glorious ones. He's done. Oh, and now Wanga takes over. Oh. oh, that's got to be it. Oh, it's got to be. And that's oh, it. Goodness. The glorious ones keep the titles in an. Epic demonstration of fashion of our style. Glorious. <laughs> <laughs> Proving they can live the uh, the rock and roll lifestyle and still deliver the goods. Dominant performance, really. Who can even challenge the glorious ones right now? Good question. 
not these, that's for sure. Oh, Absolute not. dominance. And there is a spot open for top contenders right now. <laughs> we need to discover it in the next few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> crazy, crazy fight. Me, that blood looking pretty brutal against <laughs> the white face paint of Jimmy. It is, isn't it? <laughs> brutal. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely brutal. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, and now. Now here it comes, the good boy, the last hope of Yorkshire, climbing the mountain to challenge the gods. Yeah, yeah. this is uh, one half our double main event, the world title on the line, Thor undeservedly getting it in the first place, some say, via his Money in the Bank contract, but uh, he'll, there'll be no question of his uh, title reign if he gets the win tonight. Yep. Here comes the good boy! Yeah, the Some incredible performance in the last few weeks. Yeah, he's been in an incredible oh. run, hasn't he? The most the most overpowered character in Storybook Brawl. The winner of that amazing 16-man Storybook Brawl special. And since then, he's just gone from strength to strength. He has, he's conquered everyone in his path. He beat Wolfbark for the official title of Good Boy of the JFW. And yeah, very, very deserving of this title shot tonight. But he's not facing a normal human being here. He's facing a god. Yep. In about but we don't know. We all know that Yorkshire is godless country. <laughs> oh, God. Well, guys, you have to do the laundry or anything like that. You have time. <laughs> End the turn, for fuck's sake! End the fucking turn, man! <laughs> Yes. It's a great entrance, isn't it? Great song, great entrance, great champ. For oh yes, oh I prove that he can be a champ. It's true, you could cut the atmosphere with a knife. He knows how to set a scene, he knows how to instill fear into the heart of his opponent. Got to spend all this time thinking, what am I supposed to do against this guy? Yes, but Johnny B. Good is fighting for Yorkshire. I did to avenge the honor of Flicky. <laughs> and Foxamania fought, fought Thor recently, lost. Sean, Sean Bean fought Thor recently and lost. It's all, all it's the It's all ocean. on the shoulders of the good boy. <laughs> yeah. When we'll see Flicky make his move uh, back at the title, actually, that'll be a that'll be a great day. But who will be the champion when he does? Oh, who knows? Being Flicky will take some time to clean out of the hole of despair. <laughs> yeah, we haven't seen him since he lost the title, have we? No, we, we haven't. haven't. He's got, the last uh, thing we the last thing we heard from him was uh, every single fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, Tony. Thor, Thor saw, uh, saw, you know, Deontay Wilder's entrance that cost him that <laughs> the, world, the world title. <laughs> Tyson Fury well, is not going to make the same mistake. Did you see Joshua's last night as well? Rocky Four style. Yeah, glorious. Yeah. Great, great entrance, but again, did it did it cost him? Yeah. I mean no. <laughs> it didn't didn't cost Wilder either, did it? <laughs> they just weren't both weren't as good as boxing as their opponents. 
see the World Heavyweight title on the line here. Yep. All the prestige of the world champion. Who's it going to be? Here we go. That's so extreme good format. Probably been better for Johnny B. Good. He knows all the dirty tricks in the book. <laughs> oh, Thor powering his way back into control. <laughs> Massive size differential between the two. Johnny already looking like he might have a back injury there. That is a troubling start. Oh, bad news. This is not looking good. Oh, but here did he go. Oh, he was playing possum. Lovely belly to back. Going to bring every trick in the book tonight is Johnny. He is Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> And now I thought. Scrap back and forth. Yeah. Massive For every move line. of Thor, Johnny B. Good has a counter. He clearly has studied uh, Thor. He has fight, uh, fought this battle many times on his head. Yeah. And he hasn't won one yet, but there's always a first time. <laughs> Goodness me, but for, for every clever piece of execution or trickery from Johnny B. Good, there's the power of Thor, but again with the counter. And Thor uh, having to roll to the outside. All the humiliation, all the humiliation. It works, though. As we get our first pin, just a one count. Yeah. The side of Thor, he's a, he's a scary fellow, isn't he? Certainly is. Oh my god. Almost broke his own neck. <laughs> yeah, just for fun. <laughs> he has to feel something. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. His Guardian uppercut nearly got the win right there. Yeah, we're up to a two can already. This is looking pretty bad for Johnny. But Johnny is famous for his epic comebacks. Yeah, on Good Friday, tap. he just refused to, he refused to be pinned, didn't he? It was unbelievable. That was madness. Absolute madness. The fight that this guy's got. Oh, well. He's going to need some of it now. <laughs> yes, 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 this is not looking good. Burning hammer. This is dominant. Oh. Two and a half now. We're getting closer every time, though. Closer every time. And look at it like he's got nothing in him. But we know Thor gets nervous when things don't go his way and he tends to make mistakes. Not right now. <laughs> no. That could be it. <laughs> is there a chance or other? Yeah, that's what JBG might need. <laughs> of course it is. I, I forgot, to be honest, in the heat of the action, it is extreme rules. So maybe, yeah, maybe JBG gets it to the outside and turns it around that way. He needs something extreme. So thank goodness it's an extreme rules match. Of course, Look at the amount of time Thor making JBG kick out. That alone, surely exhausting him. Yeah, and there's no champion's advantage, is there? Like, that's the thing. Normally, there's the champion's advantage, isn't there? That isn't a thing with extreme rules. So, um, you know. Yeah, Thor must win. There is no disqualification of any kind. So he needs to win fair and square. I don't think he needs much more of an advantage right now, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, being a foot taller and twice as weighing twice as much is a bit of an advantage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Johnny, though. But as we saw last night, that's not that's not always enough, is it? No, oh, but my. that's a good start. Yeah. That's a good start for Johnny. Oh, Johnny getting ready for a finisher here. Yeah, the good cutter. Lands it. Lands it. Lands it. Oh, oh, surely that can't be it. Oh, in trouble. Is this it now? Can be. Can't Two. Be. Oh. <laughs> Only due to the sheer lack of any other moves done prior to that. <laughs> yeah. uh, 
Cole manages to kick out, but uh, he has turned this around here. Ooh. Oh, rolls him up. Ref a little bit slow, got caught out himself. Oh, oh my goodness, two and a half. When it goes on a long time, you think, you think, nah, he's not got it. And then it goes on that long, you think he's got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. And now, though, throw outside. This is going to be the time for to see some uh, weapons coming into the match. Yeah, mm -hmm. as I recommend, it does take it to the outside. I don't know if he so much needed it now, though. He's uh, had a big turnaround already. And actually, it's Thor that takes advantage. Yeah. Huge throw onto the concrete. And now oh. Thor trying to establish dominance. Going for a finisher here. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh wow onto the concrete that is horrific Johnny in such a bad way now somehow fighting back <laughs> oh my god how has he even got this in him <laughs> oh what a right hand the effort he's having to put to take Thor down wow so in big trouble here oh, here we go and now oh there you go Yorkshire Roots. Oh, the oh, baseball bat. Oh, the baseball bat. That could be it. And again. And another oh, one. But he missed. Oh. Oh, oh. Thor with a huge counter bust, Johnny, right open with the elbow. Wow. What a beating now. <laughs> what a punch. What a punch. For God's sake. He really can throw a punch, can't he? Technique just as important as power, and he's well, gonna take Thor, the bat into the ring. Thor can have a hammer, but Johnny B. Good has a bat. Stalking <laughs> his prey, and he gets him. Just I think that's it. <laughs> I think that's gotta be it. Oh, man. Uh, a new champion? No. Wow, one, really? one counts. Yeah, one count, not even close. Oh, unbelievable. Punch is rocking Thor though. Yeah, it really did rock him, didn't it? His legs went to jelly after the first hit. It did. Oh, that's oh, that's it. And that's it, Johnny B. Good, new champion. Wow. Gods can die in the GFW universe. Out of nowhere, what a performance, Johnny B. Good. Jorkshire <laughs> already starting the riots to celebrate the victory of Johnny B. Good. One yeah. of those punches just landed super clean, and we saw his legs going. And sure enough, he was he was gone. He was knocked out. He really was. Yeah, that first one just just absolutely rocked him. Didn't it? Unbelievable. Yeah, caught him flush Unbelievable. on the chin. But well, there you go. Wow. Johnny, be good. Have achieved the impossible, ending the rule of thaw. Go back to Asgard. <laughs> No Jeez. doubt about this championship. Earned the honest hard way. Johnny B. Good has climbed the ladder like every wrestler aspires, winning week yes. after week. Gets the title shot and wins clean against the champ. Amazing. And thanks to his victory, the uh, time of our programs have been reduced by at least half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to be fair, the baseball bat certainly helped, didn't it? <laughs> yes, yes, the baseball bat. What a perfect counter for a hammer. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. All right, wow. Oh, and now, now the one many of uh, you have been waiting for. The eternal discussion is going to be settled. Who's the biggest monster? Who's the biggest titan of the GFW universe? Yeah, two absolutely monsters amongst men. And there's no doubting uh, Pepper Biscuit's abilities, dominance, uh, devastation, but I am absolutely loving this inhuman run from Goliath Games going through the biggest and the best of the JFW. The, probably the best big guy run we've seen even since EAB in the early days. Uh, I would love, I want another win for Goliath Games here. I'm cheering him on. <laughs> it has been an incredible run from Goliath, but now he's facing the ultimate test, isn't he? 
Hat yes, 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 yes. The absolute darkness that is a peppered biscuit facing the passion and the power of law of Goliath Gate. <laughs> Someone is gonna get wrecked tonight. Darkness meets the light, love meets hate. What will conquer all? It is Goliath Gate. Wow. <laughs> He's big. Big lad here. Six foot eleven. <laughs> He's large, isn't he? <laughs> Yes, yes, he, he will take four squares in a blue ball uh, pitch. <laughs> yeah, he really would. <laughs> Holy moly. Just means there's even more to hold on to. <laughs> there is Goliath game for all of the audience here. is a treat for us all. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh baby. You just got to drink it in, haven't you, when Goliath's doing his entrance? <laughs> yes, yes. It's a long entrance, but very well deserved. <laughs> Enjoys every moment. It's uh, kind of the opposite of Thor's. <laughs> yeah. Bring in the love. You're going to need a lot of love here to be the Pippi Biscuit. Yeah. Alright, let's get this monster of a match on the way. Oh, baby. Oh, <laughs> oh he goes straight to the outside. Wow, what a strategy. And <laughs> then back in. Has Pepper oh, with no respect for Pepper and Biscuit. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Whoa. Takes his head off. Maybe, maybe it was extra respect for Pepper Biscuit. You know, come up with a new strategy to try and beat the enormous challenge in front of him today. Yeah. Oh. He's off to a great oh, massive start. boot to the face. Yeah, two huge big boots. Cheers. Oh, but what a spear into the corner from Pepper Biscuit. <laughs> Finally getting his own way a little bit. <laughs> Decker. Very good. Trying to keep the big guy down, not letting him get back on his feet. That way you, you can't suffer from the devastating power. Yeah, very good point. Take away that vertical base. Early being here, probably going nowhere. Every wish could test in the waters. Getting ready to start the actual uh, fight. Oh, Goliath game seemed tired, but he was just waiting for his moment. Yeah, Rose Pepper outside. Biscuit across the ring as only Goliath games can. And this is a Clash of the Titans match, which means there is no... Uh, it is false count anywhere. There is no need to, you know, stay in the ring. Um, the ref there following Each. them. The, the pins count anywhere here. They, they can pin them any, anywhere. Oh, fantastic. We might see it go into the crowd. We've seen Life Games employ that strategy before. Right to the eyes, though. And of course, any weapons on they find there are completely legal. No disqualification or anything. 
It's extreme rules, baby. Yeah, anything goes. Oh, Pepper Biscuit and now Pepper the Biscuit is going. Down. But he couldn't. Too big, too fast. Squashes him in the corner. Brutal. Brutal Pepper the Biscuit. I still, it's not every day that you see being in Pepper the Biscuit seeing the small guy in the fight. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's crazy. Half the size. Unbelievable. But he's getting in his moves, isn't he? Goliath Games only just getting out that time. And let's not forget that Goliath Games only starts to take the fight seriously when he gets busted open. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> but he oh no, start. the press slam! Yep. Oh, this could be it! He How on start earth has he got him up? My god. How on earth? He already got a two count. Sadly, that is probably it. <laughs> ah, there is no chance. He's gonna take a little more. This is a class of the Titans. I'm expecting the unexpected madness. Life Games has certainly something he's just found a way to fight on a will within himself in recent weeks that he, he hadn't shown before. He was defeatable. He is taking it into the crowd. I'm loving the strategy. The thinking behind Goliath Games today is to the next level. Mm -hmm. Nipples four. <laughs> Deeper into the crowd we go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> this, yeah, this is Deeper the right really... territory. He knows Pepper how to fight here. The the, uh, the respect of the fans willing him on. Nobody's showing Pepper Biscuit that kind of uh, love. Loads of headbutts. Yes, both of the contenders using their head to try to win <laughs> in the most obvious way. Back and forth with the random violence. <laughs> Gonna end up in the next arena at this rate. <laughs> Be continued at the next pay per view. <laughs> I think if they keep working, they're going to reach a Grex. <laughs> yeah, if uh, if we suddenly see De Scotty, we know that's happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, huge knee. Taking a pound down, absolutely. They're really going deep in the crowd here. Back and forth, nobody quite able to get on top. Oh, nice strategy, nice no fancy moves, just punches, kicks and the headbutts. <laughs> when you're Going back to the Stone Age. Powerful. Oh, Glyph <laughs> Games eating an awful lot of that uh, crowd barrier though, that's got to hurt. What a punch, though. <laughs> Get Pepper Biscuit down to one knee. Goodness me. Yeah, Pepper Biscuit's really going for these hits in the barricade, isn't he? Yeah, I imagine they're doing the job as well. They don't even match. try to block the hits or anything. This is like a rocky movie. No <laughs> defense at all. <laughs> oh, Pepper Biscuit's turn to get thrown into the barricade. <laughs> and this is clearly Goliath Games' strategy for this match. It's a barrage of headbutts here. Not only the biggest, not only the toughest, not only the most powerful, maybe the smartest as well. <laughs> Steve. Just make sure you return Chimp's, <laughs> Chimp's grandmother's <laughs> insulin. <laughs> See the insulin. Let's not go that way down. <laughs> and get the sparkly eyes out of the trunk, please. <laughs> wow, what kind of condition are these two going to be in when this one it's gets back brawl. to some sort of semblance of a wrestling match? <laughs> yeah, it's just an absolute brawl. Whoa, huge uppercut there. Goliath just answers straight back. 
Oh, his turn to get floored by a right hand, though. He's feeling it now, but again fighting back himself. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh dear, oh. Well. Oh, here we go are. into the next area. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Thrown into the stairs going up to uh, the next floor. How open with this kid. Glorious. Imagine being one of the fans with the sweat and the blood flying onto you. Yep. <laughs> Pepper Biscuit have blood, whatever the equivalent of what's in his veins is. Oh, oh he's busted oh, up. Blood baby. confirmed. <laughs> There's a couple of weapons lying on the floor just to their right now. This could get uh, even more violent somehow in a moment. Yeah, it seems that uh, Goliath wants to stay away from there. I think he can. He, he thinks he can uh, win this endurance game here. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is just uh, me. just a brawl. There's less back and forth in tennis. <laughs> Oh. Here we go now. Now we're getting there. Now Goliath Games is getting on top. <laughs> oh, we oh we're fighting our way back to the uh, to the ring, maybe. Maybe. Does it seem like it? Like a tug of war. <laughs> I think Pepper Biscuit wants to go back to the ring. Goliath Games wants to go to the weapon. Oh. A Pepper Biscuit win. Oh, Goliath Games says, no, you don't. <laughs> oh, there you go. And now going the other way around. <laughs> oh, Pepper Biscuit getting a little bit bad now. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm glad this isn't me, is all I can say. From here, you picked the right match to be in tonight, not this one. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, I picked my battles. Slam. Could pin him. Could be it. No, it doesn't go for the pin. You'd think either man ready for the pin right now. Yeah, the amount of punishment they've endured. Absolutely savage beatings. Then there is a sledgehammer right next to them. Yep. And a structural kendo stick. Oh my goodness, that could be it. Has Pepper Biscuit finally just won. Now oh, he's still, he's just so mad. So <laughs> angry at Goliath Games, doesn't want to finish it. He doesn't want him, doesn't want him to look at it. And the ref's like, no, I've had it off, I'm off. <laughs> See you later, mate. <laughs> See you later in another half an hour. <laughs> All Pepper Biscuit, all of a sudden. Life Games really struggling. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, Goliath tired, that misses. was miles away from connecting, wasn't it? Was a tired elbow, that very tired attempt. Taking all the punishments. Finally does connect with one. Doesn't help him out for long. Did he go for one of the weapons? No, oh. oh, DDT busts Goliath Games wide open. He's tied himself, though. Still oh. not going for the pin. No, he's not, is he? Just punishing Goliath. What? This is the kind of action you expect to see in a jail, not in a GFW match. <laughs> It really has been extreme, hasn't it? Just absolute. Yeah, absolute this, is, this has put the extreme in the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Credit to them. Live games getting demolished on whatever the heck that giant box oh, is. Oh, my, my God. Word. Oh, my God. This is... 
They're starting to do all garbage can. <laughs> Why won't he pin him? Mm. <laughs> the garbage can already oh, destroyed. They have to be close. We've seen this before. Oh, can I? <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> Again, not wanting to finish it either, though. Surely that was all he needed. Sidewalk slam onto the concrete. Oh, 40 foot of concrete out here. That's it, <laughs> surely. <sighs> oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. Oh, it's even possible. Oh, it's the choke slam. Choke though. slam. Now we're done. Onto the kendo stick. Oh, oh baby. Oh, baby. This could be it. This could be it. He's done it again. He's three, Andolia. <laughs> He's done it. Unbelievable. What a wall. Wow. Oh, look, the ring. Those <laughs> were the days. <laughs> <laughs> well, in a true show of strength and endurance, Goliath came up on top. No technique, no strategies, no agility, just pure strength here. Surely he is now awaiting the winner of the next match for a title shot. So dominant has he been in the JFW in recent months. You would think so, yeah, he's gotta be he's gotta be ready to challenge for a title. And yes, next there was a biscuit as well. That's the question. Well, I'll say the hospital. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a safe bet. <laughs> Very impressive from Goliath. And boy, howdy, it's time for the main event. This is it. This is it. This is where history is going to be written. This is where the legends will be born. Don't know if I'm ready, guys. Like, I've been waiting so long for this match. Oh, I'm just, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. <laughs> well, you can expect something extreme because he's a hell in a cell, in a cell with Iron Man rules. Yeah. It's, if I, Rick Schiavone, am anxious, how must Rick Reckless be feeling returning to the scene of his horrific injury when he lost the title? Yep. It's definitely going to last 15 minutes, Tony. Um, it's definitely going to last. It's Hell in a Cell. It's 15 minutes. Iron Man match. Whoever gets the most pins wins the match. And of course, if it's a draw, then Night Demon will retain. So, Night Demon has very cleverly, with this stipulation, found a win. <gasps> oh, fuck. So, Rick Reyes, time to face his fears or be devoured by them. Rick has beaten Night Demon a long, long time ago. Kicked out of about five uh, zombies. How many zombies could he get in in 15 minutes, Night Demon, do we reckon? I just well, died I'm there. A, I'm I just my speed. But um, Night Demon kind of has the advantage in this, right? Rick has to pin him more to win. Night Demon just has to pin the same to retain. Oh yeah, so we have a we have a variety of champions advantage at Extreme Rule. Oh, but Rick has the love of the fans. Night Demon has his uh, seemingly supernatural abilities. Rick just a, a mere mortal, as we saw at the last Hell in a Cell. Breaks it means breaks it, store. <laughs> oh, baby. I am, yeah, JB. I don't know what happened there. I'm just literally, <laughs> just literally just coughed my guts out randomly. Oh, bless you. Yeah, what an incredible, <laughs> what an incredible promo that was indeed, store. Yeah, breaks it means breaks it. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> Yeah, what a match this is going to be. Iron Man Night Demon has a lot to prove here. He's been uh, assaulted from all sides every single week. Yeah. And this is the only unfinished business he has left. 
And he's Freak. shown his adaptability in recent weeks as well, right? Even when he's very rarely outsized and muscled against the likes of Mighty Zug, he just goes, finds a whole new strategy, you know, takes their strength away from the opponent, whatever it is, deploys his own, and, and just absolutely dominates. Yeah. And of course, th with this stipulation as well, he's taken away Quad Skulls, right? Peppered Biscuit in no in no state to help at all. So he'd only have Gengar and Gadenik as backup, whereas Rick would have all three of the other Quad Skulls to help him. So this Hell in a Cell will keep all interference out. Well, I think that benefits more Rick. I mean, uh, you know, you're comparing Gengar and Gudenik <laughs> with uh, Space Cadet and uh, Elliot. And hey. Quad Skulls have had some nice wins recently. Yes, but at least Rick doesn't have to worry about Gengar coming with a hammer from, yeah, from behind. It's true. Yeah. That's true. I think it's just clever psychological war games from Night Demon, this stipulation. He, and he won it the hard way against Tony Plays Poorly. Well, is that the hard way? He won it anyway, regardless. <laughs> war games, what a match that would be, unfortunately. Unfortunately, that's not possible, so we've got Hell in a Cell. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, what a start from Night Demon. And in case Dimi is watching this, this is what cages are for. <laughs> yeah, not for bananas. Well, not not just for, for bananas. bananas. <laughs> also, Rick knows very well how to handle a cage because his basement is full of them. <laughs> yep. If you guys like the timer in the top right hand corner, JFW clocks are available to purchase. They come in uh, Godfather and Cuckoo editions. <laughs> Unfortunately, the game is rubbish. It doesn't actually have the counter of the pins. Um, <laughs> so I'll have to learn how to do that in future. But for this, there is sadly no counter of pins. In well, we'll game. remember. Let's hope we can remember yes. the numbers. <laughs> if, uh, if our maths is bad, then maybe it'll be like the, uh, the WrestleMania 12 main event where they went a whole hour without any. That'll make it nice and easy on us. <laughs> I mean, I, I can count all the way to D. <laughs> Question is, Rick can go for the draw here. He has to go for the win. Yeah. It's okay, guys. I've got Dimmy on Discord. He's going to keep count for us. I was going to say dominating start from Night Demon, but Rick turning it around now. No, not for long. Brutal, oh. brutal attitude from a night demon. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> oh, sends oh. Rick to the outside. Oh, and that leg oh, is... Oh, his leg! His leg okay. <laughs> already, already his leg. I think it might be all right on this occasion. Oh boy. He, he just struggles in this uh, in this structure, doesn't he, Rick? Something about it. Yeah. This whole he, issue probably used, he probably used to be outside of the cage, not inside. <laughs> he went down funny as well, then, as if his leg went from under him. Yet he just can't stay on his feet at the moment. Ooh. All right, fighting back now, at least. Thank goodness for that. Get it. Not want this oh, win prematurely. There you go. There you go. Demon right at home in this hell in a cell. Yeah, he just calls it a cell. Home in a cell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Rick into the walls of the cell. Oh, and again. Oh, not looking good. Not looking good. The first spin could come quick. Oh, boy. It's Gotta be close now. Tossed all over the place here, Rick. Like a time massage. Oh, that <laughs> man. Oh, goodness me. Brutal stuff from Night Demon. <laughs> Back into the ring. Oh, oh no! 
We've seen that win matches tonight. We have, yeah. Is that count number one? He's absolutely no. pulverized Rick. Wow, how has he kicked out that quickly? <laughs> This has been all night, even though, hasn't it? Yeah, pretty brutal. He's got he's got to be ready for a Zombay pin, though. I can't see. After all the punishment Rick's taken, I can't see him kicking out of a Zombay. Oh, here my goodness, go. it is. Oh, here we go. Why did I have to say it? <laughs> Zombie. Fall number one. Oh, no. no. Wow. Oh, I don't even see in the red mist. You know, Nidemon zombies are not what they used to be. Even Tony was able to kick out for a couple of them. <laughs> what? What did Rick do? Did his leg go from under him again? That was a bit weird. It was, wasn't it? I'm really worried about Rick in this one, guys. I think Night Demon's picked the stipulation far too well. Mm. Trying to fight back, neck breaker. Oh, there you go. Sure, Tom Rick dies coming ball. here. Yeah, he's not done anywhere near enough, though, has he, to, to Night Demon to get a pin yet, unfortunately. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. New moving, Rick's locker. Not seen that one before. Yeah, very nice. Oh, Rick getting ready, getting puppet up. I can't feel the equity shift. Oh, here it is. Power bomb, yeah. Crucifix power bomb. Blood Bowl Jesus. <laughs> I'm still not sure that he's done enough to get a pinfall on Night Demon. Oh, and he agrees. He agrees. <laughs> go for the Rick roll. Oh, baby. Oh, here we go. Night Demon in trouble. <laughs> oh, oh, what a dodge. What a dodge. Oh. oh. That's why they the call fence. it high risk. Rick smartly rolling to the outside, but he's still in a ton of trouble now. Yeah, you can feel the equity shift. Rough times for Eric. Oh, Zombie number on, two. Man. Surely this is fall number one now. Lands it. it gotta be. Two. Three, oh. that's it. First count for Night Demon. And not a second of rest for Rick. Oh no, could get a second fall right now. Yeah, 1-0. One 1-0 nil. One nil to Night Demon. Oh, God. oh, Rick fighting back. Thank goodness for that. 2-0 right now. That would be so nearly it. Chasing slivers of equity. <laughs> Came in for the one turner. Going for that. Oh. Is he going for the elbow drop or the Rick roll again? Didn't work last time. Whoa! There's oh. the Rick roll. That's it. That's going to be the first spin for Rick. I don't know, you know. It is. That's it. it. That's 1 1. Wow. Mm. Oh! Could be 2 1. <laughs> oh. No, no, no. Oh. Trying to take a leaf out of uh, Tri's small package. <laughs> it's not something anyone should uh, take a closer look at. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Well, going to the top rope worked last time, but uh, he's, he's having a bit of trouble, Rick. The leg again, <laughs> playing him up, I think. <laughs> well, the brain worms, one of the two. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely bridge from Night Demon and the hot full flip over into Suplex. Goodness me. What an athlete. What power. I have to say, 15 minutes in a cage uh, with Night Demon doesn't look uh, like a good idea. <laughs> it doesn't, but we're level. It's anyone's game. Match, fight, whatever. Look again, struggling. Getting to the top rope. That leg getting worse and worse as Ooh. the match rolls on and the ref's down. If he gets the pin right now, it's not going to count. Rick beating down, Night Demon taking advantage of the time while the ref recovers. This is it. Will be the second. Uh, no. Punches to the face. Not enough. Needs to find one of the big moves. 
Doing well though, 1-1 one, one here. There's a lot of people who'd be like down 2-0 against Night Demon at this point in time. Only yeah. two? Yeah. Yeah, only two. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, at least two. <laughs> oh. Crucifix power bomb. He went to the top rope last time. Instead of going for the pin off it, he's looking tired. Takes a moment. Just go for the pin this time. Oof. Yeah. Nearly. He nearly. He did that extra uh, maneuver in there. It's a great setup move, but not quite enough on its own against the likes of Night Demon. Maybe against a lesser opponent. <laughs> Oh! Flip me! <laughs> Flip me, guys! Me. This is it, this is oh, the 2-1 for a... Uh, 2-1! <laughs> right now, right now, Rick is the Extra Arms champion. Night Demon on the verge of losing his title, but of course he only needs a one fall to equalize to retain the title. Rick yeah. has to hold on to his advantage. Oh, that's not the way to do it. That was savage. That now was Night savage. Demon is forced to get another ping. Yep, he's only got five minutes to do it. <sighs> well, for Night Demon, five minutes it are, they can become an eternity. Yeah. Oh, well, he's already got oh. a zombie lined up. <laughs> Surely 2-2 two, two. lands it. Two, come on, Rick! Oh, come on, there you go! What? Night Demon is amazed. <laughs> Going for another zombie! Oh, no, Rick! Double zombie! Well, that's, that's it, 2-2. Two, two. If one isn't enough, that has got to be 2-2. Two, two. Ridiculous. What? What? No! No! Oh, oh no. my god! Double zombie kick out! Rick, what are you? What even are you? <laughs> No way, that's unbelievable. And now counters. This is the path to the 3 1. No. no. Off, right shoulder tackling from Night Demon, though. <laughs> Rick right back in trouble. <laughs> Didn't even feel it. <laughs> Back and forth, and back and forth we go. Suplex. Yep. Ooh, nicely done from Night Demon. He's only got three and a half minutes and he's going for another <laughs> zombie. This has to be 2-2. Two, two. Surely. Surely this has to be. Oh my goodness me. One, two. <gasps> oh what? my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> Night Demon just biting Rick's hands in frustration here. Yeah, like Mike Tyson. <laughs> just gonna maim him instead. Has been Rick turning and during the zombies at the at his house, you know, just to be ready for this match. <laughs> it's insane. Still got three minutes though. There's still plenty of time. There is, there is still time for Night Demon here, but. Wow, what's he got to do to put away Rick? Hello, Foley. The longer he leaves it until he equalises, though, the less time Rick has to uh, to get a full back himself. That's a good point, yeah. Rick needs to survive two minutes and a half. He needs to start doing something. It's all Night Demon at the moment. There's no way at this rate of uh, attrition he's taking that he survives two and a half minutes more. That's a good point. <laughs> Well, for we never adapted it. <laughs> Good tap. He's, he's looking completely broken here, Rick. He's been battered on for the last five minutes. Somehow mm. slips out. Oh, oh no. It won the web, though, but look how tired Night Demon is. Too mm. tired. He's Too exhausted. Tired. I've never seen Night Demon like this. Yep, it's taken everything out of Night Demon as well. Oh. Took too long. That was a three count all day with a quicker pin. Oh. Demon driver. Oh, man. My God. Oh, that's it. He gets the quick pin this time. It is. Oh, <laughs> night. Two, two. two. One minute two, and a half. Two. 90 seconds. 90 seconds for Rick to get another pin. No chance. Oh, my no God. No chance. Darn it. 
Ooh. and not even in the ring. Oh, oh, no, oh Dino, Nate Dimo must it. Oh. Come it's on, so Rick. Throw him in the ring. Oh, man. No, Night Demon fighting back. No, oh, God. Rick eating the cage again. Knees Deary buckling. Me. He's only got a minute and he's completely unconscious. <laughs> At least his leg hasn't broken so far. Yeah. 50 seconds. Oh, man. All right, Rick finding a little something. Does take it back in the ring. Rick has to find He's a pin here. He's still going to find the move as well, though. Yeah. Oh, is he going for the Rick roll? Surely not. The top rope flip me. It's the top rope flip me. <laughs> He's got it. He's already got it. Oh, he's Come too on, tired. Rick. He's too tired. Oh, oh, Come on, God. Rick. Do it 20 seconds. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh don't Rick stand up. Or <laughs> the cruise of a pig. It is the flip me! Double flip me! In is, it time? is the ref gonna even count in time? What the heck? Oh, that's it! That's it! Rick did it! Oh, Rick man. did it! Rick won! Oh, Rick won! Night Demon probably give him frustration, but it's too late! Oh my goodness, <laughs> thing! What the heck? What the What heck? a fight! What a fight! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my word! Talk about down to the wire. That was unbelievable. Oh. My God! And now yeah. a new ruler gets into the GFW. A new age begins. Unbelievable! Oh. What what a title reign, Night Demon. Hats off to you. Amazing, an amazing match as well. Commiserations, but great effort. Both these men. Holy moly! That was next level. <laughs> Unbelievable. I don't know, so it feels unbelievable, wasn't it? <laughs> oh no, GPG. Up the wangers. Finally, finally, Rick beat his demons. Yeah, yeah, beat, beat his demons in more ways than more ways than one. Return to the hell in the cell and regain the championship. Unbelievable. Well, that's it. Um, what a what a performance! What a night! What a performance! What a night! What a pay per view! Finally, I can go to the doctor to check the the bleeding. I've been bleeding all night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I'm gonna have to go to the doctors with this chalk at the half to death. Um, <laughs> thank you very much, Rick and Fimey. Fantastic as always. Thank you so much, guys. As always, uh, a pleasure to be here. Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm lost for words. What a show! Well done, Jim. Thank you. Glorious. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.